Assalamu alaikum audience. I am your host for today's webinar organized by the Karachi Branch Committee of the Pakistan Institute of Public Finance Accountants. First of all, let me introduce myself. This is Sayed Faraz Ali Shah. I am a fellow member of Pakistan Institute of Public Finance Accountants and presently serving as a member of branch and sub editorial committees of PIFA. I am also a member of Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy, CIPFA UK. I have done master's in economics from the University of Karachi and I have done my CA articles from Deloitte, Pakistan. I have been deputed to Deloitte and Tush Middle East, Dubai and Saudi Arabia offices for the inter-office referral audit assignments by the Deloitte certified public accountants, Saudi Arabia and Middle East firms. I have also been associated, I have been associated with Deloitte for more than five and a half years since then I've switched to textile industry and serving here for the last 15 years. Currently, I am serving as a group CFO and company secretary at Amman Group of Companies, it's a textile manufacturing and exporter group. During my 20 years of professional working experience, I have come across numerous software public ERP implementations and a couple of SAP implementations practically. Now, to start with this picture, please uh, share the slide. Please, uh, yeah. please mm. press the key or agree so that it will move forward. Yes. To start with this picture, which has been shared on LinkedIn by one of my senior ex direct colleagues, when I was working on this presentation, I took it as an example. Although it looks negative, but it has got a very crucial message that if you will not update yourself with latest trends, technologies, practices, you will be outdated and someone else will take your place like traditional thieves who could not be do anything as a bank is already locked by someone due to uh, that they were more smarter than these robbers and they are more updated and they have got latest trends and technologies and they have robbed the bank. So this is the how things are being going on and this is uh, uh, like uh, since past two or three decades we have been witnessing and practicing seeing that things have changed drastically, revolutionary all the things have uh, like uh, transformed, the way of doing has been transformed and the way of doing business has been transformed. So this is what the um, basic objective of this webinar is, which is on digitalization SAP. 
please move on to the next slide. Please on. Please. Please bear. There is a error in the system. Okay. Uh, yeah. Click, click, click. Just click. Oh, yes. It's a basic understanding. It's a basic understanding. It means we do not go into much technical stuff, which I believe is not relevant for the targeted audience. Rather, we need to more focus on its competitive advantage or importance or object objectives. Now, let's discuss topics to follow. First of all, we will see digitalization, its definition, objectives, and its advantages. Then comes, then comes ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, its definition, and its key features. Then comes ERP vendors, who are the big ERP vendors that we will see. Then some facts and figures related to SAP. Then companies in Pakistan using SAP, which includes government-owned companies and private sector organizations. Then we will have a look at the list of SAP support service providers. Then we will see why SAP is unique. Then we will be having a glance at the SAP modules, which is uh, very important for us to know how SAP works or how an ERP works. And what is the theme or gist of it? Please note that FICO module is relevant for us. FICO, Financial Accounting and Controlling module, it's called a Financial Accounting and Controlling FICO module. Then we will see Financial Accounting and Controlling SAP FICO process flow diagram, then client server architecture diagram. These I have put in the presentation for just having an idea. After that, we will see Financial Accounting and Controlling SAP FICO how sub modules are linked up with each other, then we'll see financial accounting and controlling FICO role in an organization, how SAP module works in different organizational units. In the last, we will look at the financial accounting and controlling FICO reporting dimensions and profit sector, profit center accounting, cost center accounting, and last but not the least, there will be a QA session session. Excuse me, wait. Uh, Okay, is, is, is it you? Now, we will go through the definition of digitalization. Digitalization refers to enabling or improving business processes by leveraging digital technologies or and digitized data. It also improves an existing business process or processes, but doesn't change or transform them. That is to say, it takes a process from a human-driven event or a series of events to a software-driven events. This means that businesses and business processes do not change necessarily. In fact, the way of doing business has changed. Though the use of digital technologies are like, uh, let's take an example. In past, communication is done through direct mailing or use of fax technology is now being transformed into communication through using mobile and WhatsApp, including document sharing among group of audience. Even online payments are now being done on the mobile app, like standard chartered bank S2B facilities, one of the examples. So way of Disney doing business has changed and have revolutionized rather. Now objectives, digitalization increases, increases productivity and efficiency while reducing costs. Digitalization increases accuracy in information flow through business processes and or process, which resulted in an accurate reporting of business operations and business communication. Then 
it's not quite obvious everybody is a witness to the realization of these objectives so everybody knows how digitalization has increases the productivity efficiency uh, while reducing cost by uh, minimizing labor or and other thing time process of processing time uh, reduction in the processing time all the things just in the work, working time delays and uh, inefficiencies have been removed by digitalization and productivity and efficiency have arisen also increases accuracy of information manual work way of working was uh, not that much accurate there are numerous chances of errors in manual work type working now digitization has improved the accuracy of information flow through the business processes so this is quite, quite obvious everybody here is a witness to the realization of these objectives no advantages improved it improves communication increases transparency it improves competitive advantage and faster decision making everybody quite obvious we all have been witnessing these advantages in the last two decades so there is nothing much to uh, uh, demonstrate further on it because uh, uh, there are many more things uh, to come forward which are more important than this uh, or which uh, which are uh, like uh, new to the you people this is all uh, is a, a general discussion so it is noteworthy that uh, please uh, stick to this slide uh, uh, it is noteworthy that rise of digitalization coincides with the acceleration in mass marketing of new digital technologies like cloud computing enterprise resource planning artificial intelligence business intelligence and the internet in the last decade it means that there is a rise of new technologies new things have emerged evolved like cloud computing concept of cloud computing erps artificial intelligence business intelligence and in a use of internet uh, uh, in the last two decades what is cloud computing so we will see we we'll, uh, just look at what is cloud comp cloud computing is computing is the on demand availability of computer system resources especially data storage and computing power without direct active management by the user large clouds often have different functions distributed over multiple locations and data centers now erp we will very look into very much in detail in upcoming slides now artificial intelligence and business intelligence what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines especially computer systems specific applications of ai artificial intelligence are expert systems natural language processing speech recognition machine vision like if we do messaging in mobile then Uh, we have been witnessing that uh, many times we write a sentence we write half of the sentence the uh, other half is being predicted by the uh, ai feature of the software so this is what the intelligence they, they predict the things like as humans software predict the things software do intelligence features like as being in by the human what happened should i yeah. requesting you people to just wait for one minute, one minute so that we will go live on facebook also Not happened. Then uh, recording will be posted. To
So let's re resume sure. with the slide. Uh, I, please uh, move back to the previous slide. Hmm. Okay, let, uh, okay, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll manage. Artificial intelligence, there is some uh, problem here in the system. They are trying to fix it up. So we are with patience. I'm requesting you people to bear with the patience. There is maybe the problem is. Okay, 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 yes. Yes, move forward. Yes, yes. Digitalization definition, yes, 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 yes. Do this like, uh, do like this, please. I request you to please do that. Let's, now please hold. Now, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. yes. Now let's assume uh, from the artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems, specific applications of AI, our expert systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, machine vision. I already uh, explained you how it works, uh, like we do in SMS feature in mobile. We see if we write a, uh, half of the sentence and the next half is predict being predicted by the mobile application. This is how AI works in cameras, in mobile. If we uh, like uh, do AI features, then it changes the background, it changes the color, adapt to the situations. So this is what the intelligence is all about that humans are being doing, are being simulated in the machines. Now business intelligence. Business intelligence includes business analytics, data mining, data visualization, data tools, and infrastructure and best practices to help organizations make more data-driven decisions. So this is also a new concept that uh, uh, we do business intelligence by doing business analytics, data mining, like statistical analysis and data visualization. From the data we can predict the things, mostly financial institution, mutual funds are being witnessing and doing these things. Now moving to the next slide, coming to the next slide, which is, ERP. ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. Now we can see its definition. Enterprise resource planning is the integrated management of main business processes, often in real time or and mediated by software and technology. Three things are noteworthy here. It's a combination of three concepts. ERP is a combination of three things. First one is integrated management of business process. It means it's an integrated solution means every department, every business process is interconnected with each other. And as, and as such, there is no duplication, redundancy of data. Second thing is real-time database updation. Third thing is use of software and technology. Making ERP an integrated software package with real-time updation features. And other key features are also listed below. Incredible, large, extensive software package packages used to manage a firm's business process. Standard software packages that must be configured to meet the needs of the company. Database programs with the following functions, input, storage, manipulation, and output. An ERP typically keeps the data that is usually handled by the different departments integrated so that managing company data becomes seamless. So uh, moving to the next slides, who are the big ERP vendors? As you can see, SAP, the German company, 
Firstly, his name is written in the German and its English uh, version is Systems, Applications and Product and Data Processing. Oracle, people saw JD Edwards are also uh, ERP, ERP vendors or ER, and ERP brands, ERP softwares, these names. Microsoft Great Plains aimed at smaller companies. It's now being converted into a AX Dynamics Dynamics, which is being used uh, by a variety of retail, retailers. Then SAP Business One, it's a competing product, but it's a beta version of SAP, normally used by medium-sized organizations. Now, uh, coming moving forward to the next slide, SAP facts and figures. Is it up? SAP facts and figures. It's world leader in enterprise business software solution. It's the largest ERP vendor, more than 2.5 million users in over 50 countries. High customer and employee satisfaction. One of the reason for SAP success is that since it is a standard package, it can be configured in multiple areas and adapted to specific needs of the company. To support those needs, SAP includes a large number of business functions, leaving for further functionality and enhancement and adaptability for business practice best changes. Now, moving towards the next slide, which is the companies in Pakistan using SAP, which includes government-owned organization and private sector organizations. First of all, to the left hand side, it is a list of government-owned organizations, Auditor General of Pakistan, K Electric, Higher Education Commission, National Bank of Pakistan, Pakistan State Oil, Park Karab, Refinery Company, Baiko Petroleum, Pakistan Petroleum Limited, Pakistan Refinery, all are being using SAP. In all these organizations, SAP is being implemented and running. Now, private sector organization, uh, it is, uh, I have, uh, uh, a, provided the list sector-wise. I sorted sector-wise, pharma sector, MNC, Gads Pharma, uh, please on, uh, concentrate on the right-hand side. Uh, Gads Pharma, Hilton Pharma, Martin Dog, Collette Normal of AGP, Pharmaceutical, Nestle Pakistan, Coca-Cola Pakistan, Beverages Limited, Pepsi, Equafina Pakistan, Siemens Pakistan, Indian Indian Company, Lendi Renzo, Watsuka Pakistan, Standard Chartered Bank, Barclays Bank, now, please, next slide. Now, is this pharma sector continued? OMV Pakistan, we have uh, pharma, pharma and MNCs. This is pharma and MNCs. We have tech, Pakistan Private Limited, British Petroleum Pakistan. Now, textile sector, local manufacturing, international textile, packages limited, lucky textile, you know, textile, YB group companies. These are YB group companies, lucky and you know, they have there is a SAP in, uh, implemented over there. Novatex Group, Adamji Textile Mills, Artistic Fabric Mills, Mustakim Group, Natural Foods, Angu Foods, Yasir Food Juice, Pakula Products Limited, Punjab Beverages, Continental Biscuits Limited, Angro Fertilizer, Thal Limited, Orient Electronics, Kulam Faru Group, Alka Private Limited, Ka Pak Takaful, MCB Bank Limited, Hub Pak Salt Refinery, Tapal Tea, Nando's Pakistan. Ariesta Lifestyle Science, Pakistan Tobacco Company, Tripec Limbs Limited, Atlas Honda, Indus Motors, Automotive Corporation, Foggy Fertilizer, with Gas Inlet, all in, the, in all these organizations. Now, the, the, this is a list of SAP support service providers. Definitely, SAP is a proprietary and standard software, which is made by a German company, but it has to be marketed and sold and used in different organizations globally, which is done through different companies acting like distributors, agents of SAP in that geographical location. Like in Pakistan, many companies are providing essential support services. And these services are namely advisory services, implementation services, cloud service, industry and line of business service. It also includes licensing arrangement from SAP vendor. So these are the companies 
which are providing essential support services. Siemens Pakistan, Systems Limited, Abacus Consulting Private Limited, Stack International Private Limited, Box Consulting, EY Consulting, Siva Consulting Pakistan, WebNet Pakistan Private Limited, Sales Assist, Omnisoft Incorporation, V1 Consulting, Supernova Solution Private Limited, Tech Horizon Digital Agency. So these are the companies that are providing SAP support services. These are the SAP support service providers. Now, why SAP is unique? It is highly integrated. Every, every module in SAP is linked up with other modules. So all module, all business processes are linked up or integrated. This is the key functionality that every ERP has or and SAP show also. Comprehensive functionality, complex data structure, availability of data, single point of entry at one uh, point, uh, if we enter the data, then it is being used by many other modules. Online data capture and real-time data by strong application knowledge causes personal organizational structure changes, causes business process changes. Many times, they, many things have, they have got, uh, like uh, we have to modify our business process for better efficiency and uh, accuracy. We have to have this. Now, moving forward to the next slide, which is SAP modules. There are two types of SAP modules. Like uh, these are, in fact, not we can, can call it time. These are called categories. SAP functional modules provide organization with business features like inventory, tracking, human resource management, order processing, and procurement. So these, this is a category. There, are the, the the SAP is, is a big ERP software package. It has got numerous modules. Broadly, we can categorize into two categories: functional modules, technical modules. SAP functional modules provide organization with business features like inventory tracking, human resource management, order processing, and procurement. SAP technical modules are used on the back end side of. SAP landscape to help maintain and fine tune your environment, build applications, troubleshoot, download, or install updates, and plan and carry out migrations. So technical modules are more on the technical side and being is being done and used by technical people, IT people in the organization. And functional modules are being run in different departments. Please note that this list is not exhaustive. We are listing down here the most commonly used modules. Common functional SAP modules are number one, financial accounting and controlling, SAP FICO FICO module. It's a combination of FI, financial accounting module, and the CO, controlling module, often referred to as FICO in combination normally. Its process owner is generally a finance and accounts department, which are having a respective function consultant team. So FICO module is being run at finance and account department, which is having function consultant team. Similarly, production planning, SAP PP module, its process owner is generally a production department, which is having a respective function consultant team. Similarly, material management module, MM module. Its process owner are generally an inventory, stores, warehouse department, which are having respective functional consultants team. Then sales and distribution SAP SD module. Its process owner is generally a sales and marketing department, which is having a respective function consultant team. Similarly, our human capital management module. Its process owner is generally a HR department, which is having a respective function consultant team. Similarly, a plant maintenance PM module. Its process owner is generally an engineering department, which is having a respective function consultant team. Similarly, investment management with its process owner is generally a treasury 
department often comes under the ambit of finance and accounts department which is having a respective functional consultancy team similarly customer relationship management module crm modules personnel are generally sales and marketing department for customers and procurement department for vendors so it, it is being used by both sales and marketing and procurement department now technical sap erp modules technical sap erp modules are being looked after by it department or sap department these organization where sap is being implemented have got sap department comprising the sap technical consultant team which looks at technical sap modules and which are sap basis sap security advanced business applications programming sap abap high performance analytic appliance sap hana sap netweaver information systems management sap is customer relationship management sap crm technical module exchange infrastructure sap xi sap solution manager these are all being dealt by it department or sap department before moving to the next slide i would like to mention here the fact that all these modules are linked up or interconnected with each other this is a beauty of an integrated srp sap erp system let's say if any raw material item is to procure an indent or pr or uh, is preparing mm module is being followed by preparation of comparative statement of code which is then followed by purchase order which is first created by the id of creator in the mm module and then approved by the system in the mm module by the id of the approved then issued to vendor vendor must be open in the system also in mm module it also before the creation of po vendor detail must also be validated by the system in mm module now these pos appear in the outstanding pos is in the mm module as open item till the time items procured on it will be released in, uh, recorded in the system in mm module as delivered when the items procured are received in the warehouse are, and inventoried after the inspection of the goods in mm module on the basis of delivery chalan received with the item the system calls its po and linked it to the po and closes that po in mm module item received is added to the inventory in store system in mm module simultaneously hitting the inventory ledger account in fi module and accounts payable clearing account in fi module which after receipt of the invoice in accounts and finance department will be transferred from clearing accounts to its respective vendor account in fi module so all these modules and all these this transaction trail of purchase is linked up it start from uh, like a uh, order uh, uh, generation or requirement generation till the invoice receiving all the things are being linked up and this is how the erp works this is the beauty that every department module is linked up and interconnected and integrated with each other there are there is no duplication of data and there is a real time updation similarly sales process starts from the order entry in the sd module sales and distribution module which is interconnected with production planning module pp module for the item first plan to be manufactured then actually manufactured then afterwards available for delivery of or dispatch order to be prepared in sd module then in warehouse mm module gate pass is prepared then in sd module sales and receivable invoice is prepared which then hits fi module for sales and receivable ledger real time updation and this cycle goes on the sheet to be recorded accordingly here fi and sd are interconnected and in integrated so all these modules are interconnected or integrated this is how things goes in sap now moving forward to the next slide on the top right it's a financial accounting and 
5G controlling process to diagram. I put it in this presentation just to have an idea as to how FI data is being stored of inputs after going into manufacturing process being converted into output in the form of vendor master data and customer master data respectively on how pricing and basic data is being kept. This is the process flow, just to have the understanding. On the bottom left, you can see the client server architecture. This is a, no, no, please. Yes. Back. This is the technical stuff. Just to have a glance, and it has got three tires. A database server is linked with four application servers, and those application servers are further connected to multiple users or PCs terminal. This is how network is structured in SAP. Okay, then to the next slide. Here, here you can see two big rectangular boxes. One in front of us is FI module and other one is of CO module at the back. Please note that CO module has no data. So itself, it gets all the data from FI and other modules. Sometimes MMPP modules also. So CO module has got no data. It gets all the data from other modules. Now it can be seen that flow of data from other modules, that all in or, orange colored circles, HR module is linked to FIGL, MM module is linked to FIAP submodule, SD module is linked to FIAR submodule, FI main module has got other submodules, FICB cash book module and FIIA. AA means asset accounting module. So FI module, FI GL module has got four modules. FI cash book module, FI asset accounting module, FI AP module, FI AR module. All these mo modules are linked to FI GL. Yes. All the data information flows to FIGL chart of account, master data from their consolidated trial balance and financial statement and reports are being also being prepared from that. So FIGL has got a chart of account and it has got trial balance and all the data is being, uh, all the reports have, uh, have been prepared from this data. Now, Moving forward to the next slide. This picture is showing us roles of FI and CO. You can see FI, a uh, role of SI, FI. FI is uh, external accounting. We, we, we normally know that being a finance people from the FI information of the general ledgers, trial balance, accounts payable ledgers, account receivable ledgers, and cash book and assets, what we can do, external accounting, we prepare financial statements, we also deal with legal and statutory requirements of taxation and corporate requirements and standards, we uh, international and local standards we used to follow. We used to do uh, deal with tax and audits through this information I find. But look, have a look at CO. CO is the controlling. Controlling means internal. It, 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 it doesn't have any uh, data or information. It gets data from FI and it is used for internal accounting, cost accounting, managerial accounting, management accounting, different valuation, flexibility, controlling. CO controlling is basically monitoring tools through numerous management reports by taking data from other modules for accessing, assessing whether management is required to take corrective actions or not. not. 
Now we need to this uh, on the right hand profit center accounting. We need to understand what is profit center accounting. Profit center is a single source of income of an organization. It means all revenue for a profit center should add up and net of relevant expenses to make net income. A profit center can include one product like a bank or insurance company, and it can also be a single service such as advertisement company or corporation. Now, profit center accounting. Let's do uh, let, uh, let profit center accounting lets you determine profits and losses by profit center using either period accounting or cost of sales approach. Similarly, cost center is a function which is an within an organization that does not that does not directly add to the profit, but still costs money to operate, such as accounting, HR, IT departments. Main use of cost center is to track extra expenses for comparison with the budget. So this is how the role of uh, FI and CEO in an organization. FI is dealing with the external accounting regulations, financial statement, legal requirement standard, and internal reporting, controlling, and monitoring for monitoring control, mod, controlling module is used. It gets data from FI and other modules and used for controlling purposes. So this is how the role in FI and CU is described in SAP. Now moving to the next picture. This picture is also self-explanatory. It shows how SAP module work in different organizational units. We can see we can start from the bottom. If we take an example of manufacturing concern, there must be a manufacturing plant. And at the plant level, the MMPP and ST module, material management, production planning, and SD, sales and distribution module are linked. Then on the left, HR module in HR department on the above, FI module works at the company level. Then above all, controlling area, controlling operating concern, which involves Profitability analysis, overall cost controlling, product cost controlling, profit center accounting, cost element accounting, like primary and secondary cost element, WGL account, internal activity cost allocation. So this is uh, this is how the, uh, SAP module works in different organizational units. This is the position of the SAP module in different organizational units. Financial accounting works as a com at a company code level. On the left, HR works at the HR department level. In plant, MM module works, production planning works, SD works. Then above the controlling area, controlling area is above all. It includes profitability analysis, product cost controlling, cost element accounting. All this is being done above all. Okay, uh, now moving to the next slide, please. This is the last slide uh, is just to conclude how businesses got benefit by adopting ERP, SAP, how different account heads are being used to analyze through different dimensional reporting profit and ROI is being analyzed in different ways. So this is how much uh, different uh, uh, things are. Uh, now we can see uh, below the profit sector Center accounting evaluates the profit or loss of an individual in independent areas within an organization. These areas are responsible for the costs and revenues. Profit center accounting is a statistical accounting component. So this means that it would take place on a statistical basis at the same time as true accounting. So we can see here that how different account heads are being used to 
realize through different dimensional reporting of profit and ROI as, a, as being analyzed in different ways by the businessmen. So this is what the overall presentation is all about. I, uh, I believe that uh, I just goes very fast. <laughs> so uh, uh, to uh, go through the things. So let me repeat the, uh, let me recap it. We, what we have, uh, uh, we did is from the uh, very basic digitalization definition, objectives and advantages, then ERP and its definition and key features, then big, uh, we have seen big ERP vendors, then facts relating to SAP, then as companies in Pakistan which are using SAP, then support service provider. One very important thing that which I would like to uh, recap here is uh, that the beauty uh, of SAP or ERP lies in its integrational setup, which is very important. Then modules are, we have also seen, please go to the uh, SAP module slide. These modules, these modules are linked up. These functional modules, financial accounting, production planning, material management, MM module, sales and distribution, SD module, human capital management, SCM module, plant management, investment management, customer relationship management. These all, these all are being linked up or interconnected with each other. We have seen an example. Uh, I. Uh, Recap it further. That let's say if any raw material item is to procure, an indent or purchase requisition PR is prepared in MM module, that is material management module. Then it is after that a statement of comparative quotes is prepared. Then it is followed by a purchase order, which is first created by the ID of creator in MM module. Then it is approved in the system in MM module by the ID of the approver, approving authority, then issued to vendor. vendor. This vendor must also be opened in the system in MM module. Uh, before creation of PO, this vendor detail must also be entered. The, the, there is a uh, concept of master data, master data uh, in every module. So vendor master data is being maintained at MM module. And uh, uh, now these POs appears in outstanding PO list MM module as uh, open item till the item secured on it will be recorded in the system in MM module as well. When items secured are received in the warehouse and inventory after the inspection of the, say, in the system by MM module on the basis of DC, uh, the system calls its PO uh, and linked it up to that PO and closes that PO in MM module. Item received uh, is then added to the inventory and store system in MM module simultaneously, hitting the inventory ledger in the real time in FI module and accounts payable clearing ground in the FI sub module, which after receipt of invoice, when uh, it will be transferred from clearing account to vendor in FI module. So this is the beauty. Every department module is linked up and updated in their, on a real-time basis. There is no duplication of data. Similarly, sales process starts from order entry in SD module, which is interconnected with PP module for the item first planned to be manufactured, then actually manufactured, then afterward available for delivery or dispatch order to be prepared in SD module, then in warehouse or MM module, gate pass is prepared, then SD module, in SD module, SD module means sales and distribution module. In SD module, voice is prepared, which then hits FI module of sales and receivable ledger real time updation. And this cycle closed on receipts to be recorded. Here, FI and SD are interconnected, integrated. So, this is how it goes. All the modules are linked up. Also, uh, uh, I would like to add here that uh, in SAP, there is a use. Uh, there was a uh, rather a, a graphical user interface of SAP GUI based uh, uh, 
uh, interface but now they have uh, changed it to fury interface which is very an uh, web based interface and which is very analytical and it has got bar charts pie charts uh, reporting features reporting tools are also there so this is how things goes on so this is all the sap and digitalization is all about so i hope we have wrapped up this then uh, now uh, there is ample time for you people to for q and a session in the last go to the last slide Uh, asking work breakdown for percentage of completion can be performed in SAP and in which module? Work breakdown for percentage of completion can be performed in SAP and in which module? It's not like that. It's it's a, uh, a CO. It, it, it is done in CO module and uh, it is linked with the material management module. Services, uh, be handled and P2P services. For services, there is a, a concept of work order uh, in SAP and uh, subcontracting also. So through subcontracting in uh, in CO module, we deal with CO and, and, and MM module. Deal it. Uh, anyone who has uh, any question, they can raise their hand so that we can unmute their mic and they can ask the question. Or you can type the question in the chat box. Uh, we have another question uh, in chat that is please explain the functionality of SAP HANA in detail as it is mostly used in organizations nowadays. SAP HANA is the uh, latest gen, but its functionality is same as functionality, basic functionality and basic understanding whole, whole thing is same. It's just a matter of uh, uh, like uh, is, uh, uh, version, change of the version as, as for Another question uh, in which module project based accounting is performed? Project based accounting. Thank you. Uh, through uh, it's being uh, through CEO and uh, 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 through subcontracting concept.
your hand and you can unmute. Get a mute chair, a mute one. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, sir. जी राशिद सवाल पूछें जी सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम आवाज आ रही है सर ये सैप के बारे में पूछ रहे हैं हमारी कंपनी में सैप सिस्टम लगा हुआ है लेकिन सर उसमें जो रिपोर्टिंग है वो हम मतलब के उस तरह से नहीं जनरेट कर रहे तो इसके बारे में सर आप क्या कहेंगे कि रिपोर्टिंग को किस तरह से बेहतर किया जा सकता है आगे बोलिए आगे क्या कह रहे हैं आप B1 लगा हुआ है तो उसमें सर रिपोर्टिंग के हवाले से बताएं कि हम अपनी रिपोर्टिंग को किस तरह से बेहतर कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हम डाटा तो एंटर कर रहे हैं लेकिन उसमें जो एंट्रीज कर रहे हैं वो भी मतलब कि अपनी मर्जी से डाल देते हैं डेबिट भी डाल देते हैं क्रेडिट भी डाल देते हैं हालांकि हमारे तो अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड है ना उस पर एंट्री डेबिट क्रेडिट होनी चाहिए लेकिन हम अपनी मर्जी से किसी अकाउंट को डेबिट कर देते हैं किसी को क्रेडिट कर देते हैं तो मेरा देखिए इट हैज गॉट एसीपी हैज गॉट हैव यू डन योर क्वेरी कंप्लीट सॉरी ओके देखिए इसमें मैं आपको ये बताऊं कि एसीपी हैज गॉट स्टैंडर्ड फंक्शनलिटीज एंड वी वी बिकॉज इट्स अ प्रॉपर्टी सॉफ्टवेयर and it can be customized by the support service providers jo aapko list di thi to hum unke through isko customize karwa sakte hain apni reporting ko apni reporting requirements ke hisab se to if agar aap sap aapke yahan laga hua hai aur use kar rahe hain aap to if you want some reports to wo aapki yakinan jo it ki team hai sap support ki team hai ya consultant ki team hai aap usko likhe जो भी आपको रिपोर्ट रिक्वायर्ड है तो वो उसी डेटाबेस को से जो है रिपोर्ट्स आपको निकाल के दे देगी कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है बट ये है कि क्योंकि डेफिनेटली इट्स अ प्रोपराइटी सॉफ्टवेयर तो वो रिपोर्टिंग उनकी स्टैंडर्ड रिपोर्टिंग फंक्शनैलिटीज तो होती हैं क्योंकि लिमिटेड होती हैं इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर डिटेल रिपोर्ट एंड ऑल मोर थिंग्स तो वो फिर आपको बिल्कुल आपको आप डिवेलप करके दे देंगे रिपोर्ट बट दे विल चार्ज यू ये है उनका थोड़ा सा तो ऐसे भी में थोड़ा सा इशू इसलिए आता है लोगों को प्रैक्टिकली लोगों को दूसरे सॉफ्टवेयर्स में इशू कम आता है ऐसे भी में कस्टमाइजेशन का इशू इसलिए आता है कि ऐसे भी कॉस्टली ठीक है ना तो वहां वो ये कि फॉर एवरी कस्टमाइजेशन दे विल चार्ज यू ठीक है ना तो ये होता है होता यह है बेसिकली कि अगर आपको दूसरे सॉफ्टवेयर में आपके पास डेवेलपर बैठा होता है वो आपको करके देता है ऐसे भी प्रोपराइटी सॉफ्टवेयर है बहुत सारी चीजें 
आपको और पूरी दुनिया में चल रहा है तो बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसा होता है कि आप आप पूरी दुनिया में कहीं ना कहीं कोई रिक्वायरमेंट आई होती है वहां से बन रही होती है जो के आपकी उनके हेड ऑफिस में अपडेटेड होती है कुछ चीजें आपको सब कुछ सर्विस प्रोवाइडर जो है वो कम्युनिकेट करके करवा के देता है कुछ चीजें जो है ना वो आप कर रहे होते हैं बट इसमें ऐसा है कि आपको जितनी भी कस्टमाइजेशन करवानी होगी रिपोर्ट्स के हवाले से वो आपको सारी सपोर्ट फैसिलिटीज मिल जाती हैं ऐसा ऐसा नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है ठीक है ना अगर आप ये सपोर्ट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है जो मैंने नाम चेंज किए हैं या और भी कुछ आपका कोई सपोर्ट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है तो आप उसको आप कंसल्ट करें और अपनी क्वेरी रेस करें आप वहाँ पे लिखें तो आपको उसका डेफिनेटली कोई ना कोई सोल्यूशन देंगे अगर कोई आपको रिपोर्ट ऐसी होगी कि जो वर्ल्ड में कहीं भी बनती होगी तो वो आपको निकाल के दे देंगे अदरवाइज दे विल डेवलप इट फॉर यू एंड बट दे विल चार्ज यू फॉर दैट तो ये थोड़ा सा है इशू uh, इसमें कॉस्ट का बाकी है कि एस में रिपोर्ट निकल सकती हैं और डाटा डालने की बात है तो भाई डाटा तो आपने डालना है वो तो आपने एज पर द डाटा एंट्री प्रिंसिपल डालना है जो भी वैलिडेशन के प्रिंसिपल है जो भी चेक्स लगे हुए हैं जो भी चीजें हैं डेटा तो सही डालना है ना आपने डेटा गलत डालेंगे तो ये तो गीगो वाली बात होगी ना गार्बेज इन गार्बेज आउट डेटा तो आपने सही डालना पड़ेगा लेकिन ये कि रिपोर्ट्स आपको अगर आपने मतलब की अपनी मर्जी की चाहिए तो वो फिर उसके लिए आप कस्टमाइजेशन करवा सकते हैं उसके लिए आप सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स को कंसल्ट कर सकते हैं कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हैं वहाँ से आपको सोल्यूशन मिल जाते हैं ठीक है ना आपकी अपनी कोई इन हाउस अगर एस की टेक्निकल कंसल्टेंट्स की टीम है तो आप उसको आप बोले वो आप करवा के देगी ठीक है ना तो ये तो इस तरह से होता है मामला सेप है ना इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन नेम नेम ऑफ द वर्जन लाइक आप मोबाइल यूज करते हैं मोबाइल में एंड्रॉइड का नया वर्जन आता है ठीक है ना तो वो बस वो एक वर्जन का नेम चेंज है और थोड़ा सा इंटरफेस का चेंज है कोई उसमें ऐसे कोई ऐसी चीज नहीं है कि कोई आपको कोई मतलब नई चीज आ जाएगी वो बेसिकली एक इट्स अ चेंज इन दिटिल बिट चेंज इन दफेस ऑफ वर्जन और वो बिल्कुल जो लेटेस्ट वर्जन जैसे विंडोज के लेटेस्ट वर्जन आते रहते हैं टेन ट्वेंटी वो भी लेटेस्ट वर्जन नेम ऑफ द लेटेस्ट वर्जन बट इट हैज गॉट ऑलमोस्ट सेम फंक्शनैलिटीज विद एडिशनल फीचर्स एंड एडिशनल फंक्शनैलिटी वो तो डेफिनेटली होती है ठीक है ना नई जो भी अपडेट आती है प्रोडक्ट आती है नई उसमें नई फीचर्स आते हैं बट ये है कि इट हैज गॉट द सेम मतलब बेसिस एंड सेम वर्किंग स्टाइल Like as we did in SAP A uh, version. What relation did project builder has with SAP? Relation of project builder with SAP. Which project builder? Which per? I mean, I can. I mean, my. 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 प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डर मींस विच प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डर प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डर मींस एसीपी बिल्डिंग टीम और व्हाट और प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डर इज अ क्लाइंट कंपनी दैट इज यूजिंग दिस एसीपी आई एम नॉट क्लियर विद दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज प्लीज आस्क हिम और हर टू इलेबोरेट फर्दर सो दैट वी लॉन्गर से इसको मैं इसी तरह से बोलूंगा कि एस एपी को समझना तो इतना आसान है भी नहीं और एस ए पी को समझने के लिए खाली एक आवर या दो आवर के सेशन काफी नहीं है ये तो इट्स अ लॉन्ग 
इस पे जो सिक्स मंथ का कोर्स भी होता है और प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग्स भी होती हैं सेशंस भी होते हैं तो हमने तो बेसिकली कोशिश की कि बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्ड करें या और आप ये बताएं कि और फंक्शनैलिटी क्या है और उसको किस तरह से हम में ताकि हमें हमें एटलीस्ट बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो मिले ठीक है ना इसीलिए मैंने देखिए लिखा हुआ है बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या लिखा हुआ लिखा हुआ स्लाइड पर बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग सब बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिटेल में तो आपको कोर्स करना पड़ेगा ऐसे आपका सिक्स मंथ का कोर्स जब ही जाके समझ में आएगा घंटे के वेबिनार में डिटेल में मैं कैसे समझा सकता हूँ डिटेल में समझाने के लिए तो बहुत सारे हमें सेशन रखने पड़े और फिर आपको बहुत सारी चीजें दिखानी पड़ेंगी लाइव एस को लाइव इंस्टॉल करके और सर्वर पे जाके वो तो फिर इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स नॉट बीइंग प्रैक्टिकेबल टू बी देन एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इसको इस तरह ही मैं कॉन्क्लूड <laughs> कर सकता हूँ so it seems um, okay there is one question what modules of sap is best for finance department it is very obvious uh, i have explained uh, in detail financial accounting and financial controlling please uh, go to the module a slide the first functional module is financial accounting and financial controlling my presentation and okay and, uh, sorry yeah. for the, the you are yeah. asking for the abrar khan is your website for that learning uh not as such you can get the data from internet but uh, it's widespread you cannot uh, uh, do like this uh, uh, because uh, uh, website to koi nahi hai बट ये है कि डेटा मिल सकता है आपको गैदर कर सकते हैं आप डेटा और कुछ ना कुछ इसमें आप गो थ्रू कर सकते हैं और चीजों को ग्रास कर सकते हैं डिस्टर्ब कर सकते हैं बट ये है कि डेवलपर्स के और एस जम अगर इसको मैं प्रैक्टिकली बात करूं तो एस ए पी जमन कंपनी के और उनकी पूरी जो अक्रॉस द ग्लोब टीम है उसके करोड़ों अरबों रुपये लगे हुए हैं वो ऐसे तो नहीं डेटा आपको शेयर करेंगे फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ठीक है ना उसकी कोई ना कोई कॉस्ट होती है डेफिनेटली ठीक है ना वो आपको या तो लोगों के प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंसेस से मिल जाएगा कुछ कुछ आपको अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में सीनियर से मिल जाएगा सीखने को कुछ आपको अपने टीचर से मिल सकता है या आपको कोई कोर्स करना पड़ सकता है इसी तरह है और या फिर आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में इम्प्लीमेंट हो रहा है तो आप प्रैक्टिकली फिर वहाँ पे ट्रेनिंग सेशन अटेंड करके आप सीख सकते हैं इसी तरह सीख सकते हैं वेबसाइट तो ऐसे कोई ऐसी नहीं है लर्निंग अगर आप शुरू करें तो देर देर आर कोर्सेस अवेलेबल ऑफ फीको एंड एम एम आई एम फीको इज मोर रेलिवेंट फॉर फाइनेंस पीपल एम एम इज रेलिवेंट फॉर द प्रोडक्शन और इंजीनियरिंग और द पीपल और फीको इज मोर रेलिवेंट फॉर फाइनेंस फीको के लिए आपको एक कोर्स कर लें आपको सिक्स मंथ्स के भी कोर्स अवेलेबल है 
एलई वन एलई टू एलई कोर्सेज भी है तो वो आप करें तो आप कर सकते हैं और एक चीज डिफरेंट है ये ये तो वो वाली बात हो गई कि मैं आपको इस तरह समझाऊं मैं आप आप कहें कि सुजुकी को और उसको प्राटो को कंपेयर कर लें या कोई होंडा को कंपेयर कर लें हर 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 एक सेप इज अ डिफरेंट ब्रांड और एक चीज अ डिफरेंट ब्रांड बोथ आर ईआर पीस बोथ आर ईआर पीस ठीक है ना बट एसएपी इज अ डिफरेंट वन डिफरेंट सो वी के नॉट कम्पेयर बोथ Uh, as an apple to apple uh, side like example but both are erps both have got integration facilities both have got uh, this real time online uh, online application uh, facility this is what i can see ab jaise gaadi hai honda ki hai aur toyota ki hai dono mein aap baith ke jayenge aur safar kar lenge na to isi tarah oracle laga ke bhi aap ईआरपी का मजा ले लेंगे और काम कर लेंगे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में और ऐसे भी आगे कर लेंगे बट इट बोथ आर डिफरेंट ब्रांड बोथ हैव गॉट डिफरेंट फीचर्स डिफरेंट फ्लेवर एंड टेस्ट ये समझ लें इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजमेंट है इज 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 रेलेवेंट है एमएम इज रेलेवेंट है HCM is relevant also. Banjayan, thank you. Thanks for uh, attending it. Or thanks for uh, the response that we have. we got from the audience and uh, if you, if you do have uh, any participant having any other questions they can uh, contact uh, said uh, faraz ali shah we can forward the questions and you can email your questions as well uh, on the member id member@org.pk we again thank you all for attending the session this fruitful session and thank uh, said alisha as well for coming here and delivering uh, this fruitful training to all of us and uh, we would appreciate your feedback as well on the email any shortcomings so that we can improve uh, the next time and uh, you can also suggest us topics that you would be most interested in uh, attending for the next time uh, that's all from us and uh, thank you again for attending the session uh, thank you for us